So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new style of motion graphic text animation with using Cinema 4D. See guys, that's my first effect. First, typography animation. And after 200 frames, I create rigid body effect. This one. See guys, right? I will teach you how to create this type of animation. Guides really simple and best tutorial for beginners. So guys, I show you my render preview. So click on here. Yeah, see guys, that's my really cool render, right? It's looking really beautiful. Okay, so guys, now I will teach you how to get this type of effect. So guys, go to on here. I create new project. And first of all, guys, I'm going to take a text tool, this one, and type your letter. So guys, I type like a Cinema 4D, enter tutorial, right? Okay, so now guys, I change font, so middle and font, guys, I like a bold and thick, so this one is good, yeah, and go to on here, depth, I like 60, yes, and guys, I change it, vertical spacing, so decrease, decrease like a minus 80 centimeter, and go to on up, so next one guys, I apply this time Cinema 4D Studio Light. Guys, go to on file and merge. Guys, I have this one. That's my Cinema 4D Studio Light. You can download this light from my website. It's free. And go to on here. Display, select God shading line. Check. Yes. Right. See, guys, that's my lighting spacing. Okay. So now, next one. I take this time camera. So, guys, I change render setting. I like standard. And go to on here. Effect and MB occlusion. So, guys, maximum ray length. I like 50. So, accuracy, I take 100%. And second one, global illumination and indirectly catch a and I like low. So go to one anti, select best and maximum level. I like two. Yes, that's it. Guys. Okay, so now I take camera and set your camera angle. So go to one back and little bit rotate. Yeah, right. See, that's my camera angle and lock this camera. So rigid body tag and use protection. This one, check yes. Guys, my camera is locked and next one guys, I increase frame, frame I like 500, yes. Okay, so guys, this time I take brawny fracture tool, this one and select your text. So guys, apply to brawny fracture, so select this brawny fracture. So guys, now I change brawny fracture pattern, so I like this time cube and guys, go to on top view panel, increase this one size like this like a one three double zero and go to on mid like this so guys mid like a 30 okay good and go to on again object so guys go to on up and guys see that's my slice cut increase like a one actually 150 is good and increase this one like a 20 is good and segment y segment same 20 yeah right okay so guys camera uncheck and see guys, that's my simple shape right and go to on here again chord so chord like a 200 yes okay so guys that's my simple shape so guys select this one brawny fracture tool go to on here source and simple select this cube drag and drop in source like this yeah and guys you can hide this point generate check this one Yes, see guys, that's my, this one pattern, different style of pattern. See, and you can hide this cube, hide and hide on render. Yeah, run the fracture effect. Okay, so now next one, guys, little bit rotate. So guys, select your cube and go to on here, rotation change. So rotation like uh, 25, 25 is good. Yes, see guys, that's my rotation. Okay, so again, height and height on render. And now, next one. Guys, this time I apply random effector. So go to on here, MoGraph. And I apply random, check. 
yes and go to on here field so guys i like this time spherical field check yes okay so guys i increase size size like a 200 200 check and change position so position okay so guys select this spherical field so p position like a minus 900 enter yeah and guys i go to on top view panel and change also y axis so guys go to on here y axis change it's my front view panel so like a 200 is good 200 and guys that's my top view panel and z1 mid like a 30 is good for me yes right see so that's my simple position so guys also spherical field go to on little bit back like a uh, minus 1000 is good minus 1000 enter yeah so guys now press this animation key and position animation key check so guys go to like a 200 frames 200 frames and guys position change go to on here like a uh, my actually 700 is good check yeah right okay so now guys play yeah, that's my first effect. Simple, first simple effect. So guys, go to on random and increase parameter. So guys, Z1, okay, so like a 20 is good. And Y, like a 100. And X1, I like 200. Yes, good. So guys, go to on camera. And again, go to back and play. It's good, right? Okay, but guys, it's not correct i create more smoothness so this time guys i apply delay factor tool delay and go to on here effect so guys strength i like 70 and spring check and again go to back and play yes good much better see guys that's my like a spring okay so guys my first effect is finished that's my first animation and next one guys I apply this time copy this random effector so go to and back select this random effector and duplicate so press ctrl c and v and rename like a like a spherical field one yes and change guys I change position so select this spherical field one and select this keyframe keyframe guys go to like a 48 470 is good 470 and guys first frame this one starting like a 200 200 yes right guys i change only keyframe this one spherical field so i show you my keyframe so guys go to on window and timeline f curve tool yes see guys that's my spherical field first one right and that's my second one right starting from zero sec zero frame and this spherical field starting from 200 frames right it's simple okay so now guys close and guys this time i apply rigid body tag so this time select this Ronnie fracture tool and right click go to a simulation and i apply rigid body tag but guys now i change also enable position enable check guys i go to like a 195 195 check and go to on here 195 and enable check right and go to like a 194 and enable uncheck yes right it's really simple 194 and guys that's my rigid body enable uncheck and go to one frame 195 and go to on here enable check yes that's it guys okay so also guys i apply this time collision tag on this one flow so guys go to on here plane and right click simulation and apply collision tag so guys this time go to on here select your Ronnie fracture rigid body tag catch a and catch a big this one catch a big check okay so guys now it's not correct so i stop this baking stop and clear object check now guys next one select this one rigid body tag and go to on dynamic this one 
and see that's my trigger so i change to immediately to add velocity peak check and again go to on here and catch a object check Okay, so guys, this effector is not working. So again, stop this baking and clear catchy check. So guys, select your brownie fracture tool. Go to on here effector and see that's my random one. So simple drag and drop on this one effector two, right? See that's my effector delay factor and random one and random two, right? So guys, now also select this spherical field and go to like a two hundred frames, two hundred and Go to on here, two hundred check. So go to on top view panel and change this time spherical field position. Like eight uh, hundred is good, eight hundred and check. Yes, that's it, guys. So go to on back and again, guys, select this catch it and catch it big check. Okay, so guys, my baking is finished. And guys, if your some particle is not collide, so go to on here, this one, guys, clear check, and go to on here, Brownie fracture. So guys, go to on source. So guys, select this one, and guys, I change distance seat like this, and high quality check, yes. Okay, so now guys, also select the spherical field. You can increase size. Like a two two zero, and go to on here. See that's my inner offset increase like a seventy five. Guys, more like a eight is good. Yeah, great. Okay, so guys, my final work is finished. And go to on here, guys. This time I apply material and load material. So select this material. So guys, I apply this time inner. And outside material, so I select this one, yellow material, and I apply this time blue material. Yes. Okay. So guys, now next one, go to on here, select this Rodney fracture tool and selection, and see guys, that's my inside face check and outside face check. That's my inside face tag, outside face tag. So guys, select this one and drag and drop in outside face. Select this one material, and that's my inside face tag. Yes, and guys, now I show you my render preview. See, guys, that's my beautiful work, right? And go to on here filter, enable filter check. Guys, saturation increase like a ten, and brightness increase, and contrast I like three is good. Okay, see, guys, that's my final render. It's looking really beautiful, and close. So guys, next one, my work is finished. And go to on render setting, save and format. I like JPEG sequences and file. Guys, go to on desktop, create new folder like this, and take any file name like a one. So guys, go to on output and use this time SDTV. This one one zero eight zero twenty nine FPS frame and correct. So use all frame. Yeah, that's it, guys. Okay, so guys, my work is finished, and go to on back. So guys, I create final baking. So guys, go to on catch a this one catch object check. Okay, so guys, after baking, create render. Okay, so guys, that's it. My final work is finished. So guys, if you like my video, please share and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.